Welcome and aloha. My name is Mark Shklov. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea program. Today we will go across the sea to Singapore. And my crew are my guests. And I recently attended the 29th Annual Inter-Pacific Bar Association annual meeting with my guests. My guests are Hawaii attorneys Shimpi Oke and Elbridge Z. Smith. Jinpei is an attorney with the law firm of Goodsell, Anderson, Quinn, and Stifel, and Elbridge Z. Smith, or EZ as we like to call him, is an attorney with the law firm of Bronster, Fujichaku, Robbins. The Inter-Pacific Bar Association, or IPBA for short, is an international association of business and commercial lawyers who live or have a strong interest in the Asian Pacific region. And each year, the IPBA holds an annual meeting somewhere in the region. All three of us, myself and my two guests, attended this year's annual meeting in, in Singapore, and we want to share our experiences. However, before we start talking about the Inter-Pacific Bar Association and its annual meeting in Singapore, I'd like each of my guests to briefly tell a little bit about themselves, their legal practice, what you do as attorneys. Shinpei, you first. Well, Mark, thank you for having us today. Um, yes, I'd like to share a little bit about myself. I, I have been practicing in Hawaii. Oh, actually, by the way, first, I'm a Richardson Law grad. All right. so I've been in Hawaii for a while now. I have been practicing for almost 10 years. Uh, I've been with Goodsell, Anderson, Quinn, and Stifel for the past six of those years. And I primarily work in the transaction area, where real estate corporate transaction, mostly assisting Japan companies and Japan investors. Okay, and that's because of your background from Japan? That I, is because I guess. of my background, you're absolutely right. I speak and read write Japanese fully. I was born and raised in Japan, okay. um, so I take that to my advantage. Okay, easy. A little bit about you. Sure. Um, I just actually started at Bronster Fujitaku Robbins last month. Uh, before that, I worked at my dad's law firm. Smith Himmelman. Uh, my background he is... He is also Elbridge Smith. Elbridge, so he is also we'll Elbridge Smith. So we try to keep you apart by EZ and EW. Right. Otherwise, there's pretty much <laughs> no way that you could tell us apart. Um, so my background is mostly uh, in employment law and now working at uh, Bronster Fujichaku Robbins, um, getting experience in all different types of, uh, of law. All right, and uh, so that is the beginning of a new career for you, in a, in a way. It's, yeah, it's the next step, sure. Okay. All right, so the three of us recently attended the Inter-Pacific Bar Association's annual meeting in Singapore. Uh, I'm an old-timer. I've attended many. I attended the first IPBA annual meeting in Tokyo almost 30 years ago. Uh, Shinpei has attended a few meetings before, right, Shinpei? Yeah. That's correct, yes. Easy, was this your first? This is my first. first. Okay. Shinpei, what is the Inter-Pacific Bar Association in, in your mind? What, what is it to you? Inter-Pacific, okay. Yes, uh, it's, uh, it's an organization, my understanding, it's a group, from what I've seen, it's a group that is made of attorneys from many, many jurisdictions, some from the United States, a lot from the Asian Pacific region, but it has grown to Asia and uh, not, not Asia, to, to Europe and many other parts of the world. Um, it's a very friendly organization, a very professional organization. It's an organization where you can learn, make friends, and uh, really learn about other jurisdictions as well as create referral sources. Um, explain to the group what we do here in Hawaii. Um, and Hawaii has always had a special place with the IPBA since uh, several of the founding members, including Mark yourself, uh, were Hawaii attorneys. And since, uh, because of that, I think Hawaii is looked at as a very unique jurisdiction, even 30 years later today. And uh, we have, I think, our, my, at least my personal experience has been, has been very uh, positive. Uh, being able to represent myself as an attorney from Hawaii. Okay, yeah. Um, see, Alan F Fujimoto. Alan Fujimoto, Jerry yes. Jerry Sumida mm -hmm. were both involved from pretty much the beginning mm -hmm. of IPBA, mm -hmm. and both of them served uh, as, yes, uh, as Secretary Generals. That's correct, yes. Of IPBA. So there is kind of a, a close connection with Hawaii and Hawaii lawyers. There is. With IPBA. 
And uh, how, how did you first get involved with it? Was and as you mentioned, Alan Fujimoto is, uh, is a partner at Goodsell. Um, he has been involved from the beginning. He has, like you said, uh, served as Secretary General of the organization. Um, he has uh, been very active, uh, very close to the organization. And when I joined Goodsell, um, I was fortunate enough to be in a position where I would uh, essentially serve as the next in line in, in, uh, with the intent of maintaining a relationship with the organization and to be able to keep, as part of our business development efforts, to keep Goodsell as part of being the IPBA. So I attended my first conference three Three, or two years ago, um, with the New Zealand Auckland conference, followed by Manila last year, and then uh, I was fortunate enough to attend this year again in Singapore. Okay, and you look at it as, as business development, but I also hear personal relationships, also friendships develop. Yes, uh, I think that goes hand in hand. Mm. Um, business development is essentially making friends, uh, in my mind. So I have treated as, uh, to a certain extent, one in the same. Uh, but IPBA has, again, because Hawaii has, has had a special place with the organization, um, it's, it's, very, it's, it's not overwhelming for a Hawaii attorney. It's not as overwhelming as you think it is for a Hawaii lawyer from a, you know, a small, smaller jurisdiction joining this international organization with you know, big shot attorneys from New York, London, you know, Mumbai. Um, but it's, it has, it's a very comfortable organization to be in, being from Hawaii, and that has really uh, resulted in me being able to make friends with the, the attendees. And by the third year, you recognize many of these people. It's not a massive organization that you can't find the same people every year. You meet the same people over and over again. So it really is an opportunity to make, make friends. Okay. Easy. Was that, what, why did you go to your first IPBA? What was your experience? How, uh, you know, did you like it? Was it what you expected? Or what did you expect? Sure. Well, um, the reason I went was because uh, you invited me, and uh, my uh, prior practice was uh, pretty specialized, kind of a niche, and I know that uh, I'm fortunate enough to have or count you as a mentor of mine, and I uh, appreciate you inviting me in, uh, to expand my base of knowledge, and this sounded like a really good opportunity to meet a bunch of people who do a lot of different type of law that I'm not entirely familiar with. And I think that was probably the best experience for me is to meet all of these different people who are, everyone's so friendly and everyone's so helpful and everyone's so smart um, in all these different types of law that I wasn't familiar with. But that was, that was my experience. And, and also, uh, Rex Fujichaku, with your law firm, is in, has been involved with it and kind of may have had some influence also with, with, with you. I, th I think he, he likes these, these organizations also. Sure, yeah. I, Rex is the president of the International Law Section of the Hawaii State Bar Association. So, unfortunately, he wasn't able to make it to the conference. Uh, he hasn't uh, let me forget <laughs> the fact that I, got to, that I got to go and he didn't, but, um, you know, we made it work. Okay, and, and, and the good thing, you, you met people that were friendly, but these were international lawyers who handled substantial transactions, but you felt at home. Absolutely. Um, one of the main things that I took away from it was, like I said, this entire area of law that I was not familiar with, but... Uh, you know, the uh, people at the, at the conference are all so well-versed in what they do that I didn't feel out of place. And they, were, they shared also, Absolutely. right? Okay, now, and when we went there, uh, we had a kind of a Hawaiian introduction, right? What, what, what was that? that? That's our first uh, slide. Uh, uh, there, there's a couple slides that, what, what, what happened? Right. Bo both of you can comment on this. So this was the this was the, two our, slides. Yeah. yeah, this was the Hawaii sort of pre pre conference event that uh, we tried to invite all of the Hawaii attorneys who were attending, and also people who um, have very strong ties with Hawaii. I see Suresh on the right side there. Suresh uh, he, is a Singapore lawyer. Right, yeah. and he was. Uh, 
he's an honorary member of the international law section now. And um, so it was just a little fun kind of Alhana, I guess you could call it. Yeah. Yeah. And we have uh, also Richard Goldstein is a London based lawyer uh, next to me and uh, Freddie Repair, a France Paris based lawyer and Stephen Howard and then, then Suresh. And the reason that Richard and Freddie are there because they're also honorary members. And what, what's been your experience with, with them? Oh, it's been fantastic. Unfortunately, I missed this event because um, I flew in, I think, that midnight. Right. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, the great thing about it is, uh, like for example, Freddie Rupert, you just mentioned, honorary member of the International Law Section. I've actually met him not through the IPBA, but from a different event with the HSBA, uh, where we had a conference in Tokyo. He, had, he was interested, and he just happened to attend. I met him there, but I have have had the chance to see him every year since then at the IPBA. And he is very much interested in Hawaii. He actually has a bunch of Japan clients as well, but there's a connection there. And uh, yeah, it's just important. It's, it's, you just get to meet these people and with Hawaii kinda, connections. We add them to our Ohana, our Hawaii Ohana, so that if we need somebody in Paris or London mm -hmm. or, or, or in Singapore with, mm -hmm. with Suresh, mm -hmm. we can call on them. Right. And we, we got a connection. We're friends. And boom, the door is open. Right. And I think it, go back, it goes back to Hawaii having a special place with the IPBA. I mean, we have, I don't think any other jurisdictions in the United States had a special reception for people from, people related to that state. It was only Hawaii who did that. Yeah, yeah. that's right. A friendship yeah. gathering. Yeah. And then, okay, so what, what happens, Easy, with the next step in, when you go to the conference, let's take a look at the next couple slides. Uh, what, what, what goes on? What okay, could... so this was, uh, this looks like the Prime Minister of Singapore gave a speech on Thursday morning. Um, he spoke for about, what, almost an hour. It was, it was really, really, it was really nice. It was very informative. There's a lot of uh, really important world players that come to the, that come to the event. We're grateful that he made the time. So we have the Prime Minister of Singapore come and talk at our opening event, Pr mm -hmm. Prime Minister Lee, and talk and, and, and kind of w welcome all the delegates, which gives you kind of a feeling about how, mm, it's our, how the IPBA is viewed. Mm -hmm. All right? And, and okay, so we have the introduction, and then what happens? What's, what, what goes on with respect to meetings and events at IPBA in Singapore? Specifically, uh, for once the conference starts, kicks off with the uh, with the big big conference that you saw in the photo. Um, we have um, uh, special sessions, educational track sessions that goes goes on. So would one would maybe and there's various committees within the IPBA who organizes these these sessions, and it could be from you know developing attorneys to international arbitration to international tax and all these different tracks and we are free to attend any of these tracks that we are interested in just going just sit. going attending yeah. sitting and and just listening to a a group of of very very good attorneys talk about what they are very very good at scholastic um, topics very yes exactly and, and, and practice things to practical ideas of practice yes but there there's some sessions that are very interactive with the group where we have case studies where we break up into small groups and and i actually attended one of those uh you 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 tackle a case study with attorneys from various jurisdictions meaning they work with different laws and mm. a group of attorneys conflict of laws yes everything. exactly yeah. and we're talking about it and we're we're thinking and you realize no matter where you are many attorneys face the same type of issues and and we approach it in a in a very unique way depending on where you're from and all of the uh people come from various countries where english is not necessarily <laughs> the primary language but all of the all the presentations are in english are right? in english that's, that's a very good point you're, it's i just continue to be impressed at how well they speak english all these attorneys speak english. and there was one slide i think the last slide we looked at was it looked like a bunch of uh Lawyers or what, what? What was this? Oh, this one. This one was uh, so throughout the while we have the educational sessions. There's um, 
There's various receptions that also take place. Um, this was from the uh, new scholars reception. I think new members and, and scholars reception where the IPBA sponsors, or it's basically a scholarship program where the IPBA provides funds for uh, new emerging attorneys to, to attend the conference. So young lawyers who maybe couldn't afford to come on their own or even you know, ha have the, f the funding are provided with an opportunity through the IPBA. Maybe they just started practice or... Right. Is, is that the idea? Uh, I, I believe so. And, 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 and although we say young, um, so some of these attorneys have a good five, six years under their belt, and, and they really know what they're doing also. Um, the one interesting thing was that when I attended the reception this year, um, I met an attorney from Mongolia who happened to be a LLM graduate from the Richardson School of Law. Wow. Um, so there was a Hawaii connection there. I had no idea. But um, she, when I introduced myself as being from Honolulu, Big surprise, we knew many people at Richardson. Wow. Um, so that got the conversation So there's going. lots of connections. Yes. And we're going to talk more about mm -hmm. what happens after our break. Good deal. So we will be right back after a short break. Aloha. This is Winston Welch. I am your host of Out and About, where every other week, Mondays at 3, we explore a variety of topics in our city, state, nation, and world, and uh, events, organizations, the people that fuel them. It's a really interesting show. We welcome you to tune in and we welcome your suggestions for shows. Um, you got a lot of them out there and we have an awesome uh, studio here where we can get your ideas out as well. So I look forward to you tuning in every other week where we've got some great guests and great topics. You're gonna learn a lot. You're gonna come away inspired like I do. So I'll see you every other week here at three o'clock on Monday afternoon. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha, I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm coming to you every other Tuesday at 2 o'clock, live from Think Tech Hawaii. And on our show, we talk about taking your health back. And what does that mean? It means mind, body, and soul. Anything you can do that makes your body healthier and happier is what we're going to be talking about. Whether it's spiritual health, mental health, fascia health, beautiful smile health, whatever it means. Let's take healthy back. Aloha. Aloha. Uh, we are back. I am Mark Shklov, the host of Law Across the Sea at Think Tech Hawaii with Shimpei Oki and E.Z. Smith talking about the IPBA annual meeting in Singapore. Gentlemen, okay. Uh, what did each of you take away from the IPBA meeting in Singapore? What your thoughts? Shin Shinpei, we'll, we'll start with you. What I took away? Um, I took away a lot of things. I made new friends, which, which was very important. I met, um, I, met, I met a lot of new people, for sure. Um, I met old friends as well, caught up with them. Um, I learned about... Uh, and I, I, and I always uh, try to take away at least one educational component out of it as well. And I think um, it may be an issue that Hawaii law firms are facing too, but the generation gap between, uh, yeah, between, yeah. between you know, the, the older attorneys and the younger Believe attorneys. Believe me, I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, apparently other jurisdictions are facing very, very similar oh, issues with the millennials being very different in mindset from the, the senior generation. And I was surprised to find out that it was not only Hawaii or the U.S. that faces this issue. It's with multiple jurisdiction. Do you find that they're being included in the IPBA? Do you feel it's inclusive of the, that group? It is. And I think the, the whole purpose of, I think this is, was, uh, I think this, uh, that session was hosted by the, uh, the, the new member or development committee. Yeah. Um, so we, they try to include a lot of the thoughts and, and uh, uh, the requests of the younger attorneys, uh, with, not just with the conference, but with the organiza organization as well. So that's interesting that it's, it's a kind of a worldwide phenomenon, what it, I hear. It, yeah. it, it is. So I took that away from the conference, yeah. uh, uh, that being a very interesting point that I could take. I mean, of course, it was, you know, Singapore is such a beautiful city. It was a, my first time there. I uh, can't complain that the conference was there. Easy. How about you? What, what? What was your feelings and what did you, what did you take away? Uh, from the conference itself, the biggest takeaway was just 
for me, it was meeting a bunch of new people who are so smart and so well versed in what they do and feeling welcome. And especially because it's my first IPBA conference, I thought it was, it was, it was amazing. Uh, Shinpei is correct that uh, Singapore is an amazing city, but even if it even if it wasn't in Singapore, I think all the people that I met, uh, all of the different um, breakout sessions that I got to attend and learn a little bit about, um, it was just a great experience. And uh, next year, where is it going to be? Shanghai. All right. 20, 2020. 2020. And then I think it's in Tokyo in After 20, that. 2020. Yeah. yeah. Now, let's take a look at a few more slides uh, that we lined up. Uh, this is a group of Hawaii lawyers. We're giving Stephen Howard a, a uh, honorary membership also. That was kind of a surprise for him because uh, he is not a member of the international law section mm -hmm. of the Hawaii State Bar, although he's a member of the Hawaii State Bar. That's right. Yeah. So uh, Rex Fujichaku was nice enough to suggest that uh, we give him that presentation, which group of us Hawaii lawyers did. We got together and kind of surprised him. Let's look at the next shot. Okay, so it's not all f just study, is it? It's not all education. We have a little fun. What type of things did we have? Easy. What, what type of uh, fun okay. happened at these events? So there was the pre-conference uh, get-together. That was the welcoming um, event. And then the next night we had our big Salad dinner, and then the third night we had the movie um, costume party. Costume party, yeah, yeah, that was that was that was interesting. And and even before the uh, conference starts, they have a golf tournament, right? Right, uh, right. and and he, he, I think that that Sh Shimpe won it this year. Did right? you win this year? No, I, <laughs> unfortunately, I wasn't even there. Okay. Uh, well, 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 next year, yes, maybe next year <laughs> if okay. I play golf. But. All right, okay, so. Uh, you know, we, it's not just study, and it's, it is meeting people, and it's having fun. And let's take a look at the next slide. Uh, what, what is this, uh, Shimpei? Uh, this is a group photo, although it's missing a couple of us. It's a, a Hawaii group photo. Um, anyone who, is, uh, who has a relationship with Hawaii or, or from Hawaii uh, were asked to be in the photo. And you can see just from this photo alone, alone there's, a, there's quite a, a few of us. And I think we're, even with this, we're miss, missing three or four members. So um, that's one photo that we try to take every year to show uh, and to promote uh, this event to the Hawaii Bar. I see you both in the photo. Yes, we're. And uh, uh, I'm there with my wife. Mm -hmm. And uh, Easy, your, your wife accompanied you also. Uh, spouses are, are quite welcome. Mm -hmm. And it's, I mean, yes. we, there are male and female attorneys, and they bring their spouses. It's not all male. Mm -hmm. Especially with the millennials, there's a lot of a lot of <laughs> yeah. female attorneys, mm -hmm. young young attorneys, mm -hmm. and I, they some of them brought their spouses also, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, they did. Did, uh, did, did, did uh, your spouse enjoy this? That's Jill. She did. did. Yeah, Jill. Uh, Jill enjoyed it a lot. Actually, her best connection that she made was at the gala event um, on Thursday night. Uh, one of the attorneys that was sitting next to us, uh, her name's Prita. I can't remember her last yeah, name, yeah. but she was. Uh, she does a lot of contract law with, uh, in the Indonesian area. And um, yeah, that was a really good connection. I have to email her. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, so you make these connections. Uh, and what does this say about Hawaii? What does this, how do we benefit Hawaii? I mean, I hear how it benefits each of you, okay? Professional development, personal relationships, enjoyment. How does it benefit Hawaii and the bar, the Hawaii bar? Shimpei, you get the first shot at this. Wow. Um, I think in several ways, uh, it does get Hawaii on the world radar. Um, Hawaii, I, I think we tend to think that Hawaii, being a smaller jurisdiction, being the middle of the Pacific, uh, could sometimes be a disadvantage, but I take it as an advantage. And, and when we attend conferences like this, especially in larger groups from, you know, influential firms, influential practice, uh, influential background, it really helps Hawaii get on, on the radar. I mean, there are, are very professional, very knowledgeable people here that does real important work. And, and 
I think it's important. I mean, any opportunity that we get to, to show that to the world, I think, I think we, 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 we should. And I think this is one opportunity to do so. So we are a friendly state in the United States for Asia. That is very, that, well put. I, I, yes, that, that's the message you want to get across. Easy? What are you yeah, thoughts? absolutely. I think just also the Aloha spirit. Um, we are a small state, small community. But, uh, you know, just I, I've known Shinpei for a few years now. We met at the uh, Tokyo event. But, you know, I think in the community, we get along and we try to promote you know, legiality. And I think that really shows when we have a group of us at an event like this, where in, in force, we kind of come out and say, hi, we're from Hawaii, nice to meet you. And, and how can we be friends? A bunch of lawyers, mm -hmm. who some people think are always <laughs> uh, fighting, actually working together and, and having a good time together. Right. Let's take a look at the next couple of slides. Uh, okay, so I think uh, well, we we never got to visit that building, but of course that that building is iconic from the the recent movie, right. um, uh, which was which was Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah, yeah. yes, and yes. we all watched that movie and enjoyed it, right? We did, yeah. we did, we did. And so that was on a tour that we took post conference. Uh, that's a shot just out the window. Mm. Uh, in, in one of the post-conference tours that we took with Suresh. Let's take a look at the next, next photo. Okay, so we talked about having fun, at, and this is the last event, right, Easy? Yeah, this was the uh, farewell dinner uh, event. We had a whole bunch of great food outside, including, I think, two Michelin-starred street cart food, and that's great. Suresh. Yeah. <laughs> on the right. On the right. <laughs> in the Black yeah. Panther, yes. But you wouldn't yes. have noticed until uh, I knew it was he him. pulled off his, his hat. So <laughs> don't take yourselves too seriously as part of it, I guess. We're all lawyers. We have a good time. We study hard. We make relationships. Uh, we, we enjoy being together. And that's kind of what the IPBA says to me. Does that make sense? Yes, it, it really does, and, and it does result in business, too. <laughs> so, okay. win-win um, so for all, I think. Okay, gentlemen, uh, I appreciate you coming down and sharing your feelings and thoughts about the IPBA in Shanghai, and uh, we'll continue to uh, keep the bar advised of what happens in the IPBA. So, everybody, aloha. Uh, we will next year look at Shanghai and take a look at going there and including everybody who wants to within our Hawaii group. Aloha.